Hello people of the YouTube and welcome to another episode from Star Wars Empire at War Remastered Edition. My name is Jacob Panda, I'll be your commander for today, aka Admiral. And we will begin with our big ass ship over here. Yes, please. Mm. Looks sexy as always. Anyway, the yes, finally. Okay. Why is Doc Tapple? Oh well, we got ton, ton of Tie Squadrons. Like uh, even though they are ancient Sith fighters. Come on. Yes, you got that right for the Empire, even though we are rebels. But you, my dude, are from the ancient Sith Empire, so I guess you are what you are, so yeah. Of double. Anyway, oh, we picked. Oh, I can get like four of these bad boys in one battle. Holy moly. I will shred any enemy that even tries to get to us. Come on. Yes. Nice. Thumbnail over the material. And then I'll keep the enemy fighters off of me and I'll be happy man. But I guess this thing will shoot me first. Come on, reveal it. Yeah. Oh, that bad boy is shooting, actually. Shoot down the concussion missiles. Missiles. Ooh. Orange lasers. Nice. Taste the power of the. I guess Empire. But my thing seems to be kinda crappy. Attack the enemy. But you know what? Go to the light speed. Don't let them destroy your engines. That's... Yeah. So now... The order of mine is... That I want four of these. God damn it, I can have only two. Oh well. <laughs> we'll get more of these. <laughs> The enemy will have no chance against me now. Also, give me all of these back. Where is it? Over here. Go. You will be in. Hey, Mamathma, don't be with the Harowitz or Harrower or whatever it is called. Now then, um, I only need one more of these. The A7 Squadron, equipped with triple lasers, a proton torpedo launcher, a shield generator, and an astromech droid. It's designed to replace the popular X-Wing, built upon success. The A-Wing presents a smaller target, has 20% stronger shields and 20% or 25% higher top speed for the cost of one laser cannon and an iconic S-foil. While this makes the A-Wing less versatile, it prefers better overall. The A-7 still suffers from mediocre maneuverability, fires one proton torpedo at ships, all Starfighter shields are fully recharged after 15 seconds, Astromag droid repairs one hit point every two seconds. Oh well. Which battleship? 
Oh, the um, this guy. Cruiser reporting. Yes, cruiser. Anyway, I'll just wait until the uh, Corban was taken. Actually, I already know that. Why am I saying it like I didn't Can know? K wing. Okay. So, I just need to wait until these guys are finished. Then I'm gonna do what I do best. Return and destroy the enemy. Actually, go on Karaban. I'm gonna take the ancient Sith world. And they got only station there. A level 3 station. Will not do much, I would say. Nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, please. Changing course to intercept. Ready for battle. Sending ships. Hey, nice. Engine hot. You get to your <coughs> get to your positions. We're gonna sweep the space with the enemy. What do I what do I say? Ancient star uh, ships ancient Sith Starfighter equipped with dual lasers. The Swift Star is weak, basic fighter crap, useful when overwhelming the enemy with numbers. Mm. That doesn't seem to be quite good. If you have like interceptors and the enemy fighters. Now these bad boys that I have. The BTLs. <laughs> We've located we the enemy. Ooh. I need the well Gun those on. guys to go. Reporting in, pressing the attack. Pressing the attack. Yeah, the enemy will go down while my guys over here will unleash missile fire and whatnot upon the enemy. Now then, who's the best around here until enemy um, bigger ships arrive? <laughs> nice. I guess the FPS are a little bit dropping just because overwhelming power. Octopal like two eight or uh, eight guns on one turret. At least is it like that? Write down in the comments if Octopal is like eight eight guns on one sh ship. Shoot that thing. Hey, are you listening? I want you to destroy this. Ah, finally. And well, your only mission now is to get information, destroy that freaking thing and be done with that. Why can't we have like the BSX-5, I think, Dreadnoughts, they're called. They're the smaller version of Howitzers. Why can't we have them? All of them I have still. You can just slam the gear, get away from there. After all, your job is done, and well, only the mopping crew over here is gonna take them down. Yes. Final star uh, starfighters are being destroyed, and we are victorious. And we have Corban. 
Victory. Lucia, Rexis, well. Hmm. Until we get actually level 3 over here on Corban, then I'm just gonna lay back and, and enjoy, I guess. Or should I go to Solace already? Let me see. I want the entire. I want all of them. Okay. Join up on uh, Drama Cast. And then from there. Once the last K Wing is finished, go join the dragons. And we shall. Engage the enemy on Solost. Yeah. Or I'll just go to Nirian. Possibility, possibility. 103 days already. Nice. Construction complete. Beginning construction. construction. I'm, I just feel in my bones that soon I will just. Send some kind of dreadnought to my bordering planets. Just feel it in my bones, and it's quite not pleasant. Look uh, back, control chains from coming underground to Empire. Not actually a pleasant thing. Uh, soon the light. Light over here will be so poor that I'll need to switch to my light. Pollution, Rexus, command. There's only a station. That means only a that thing, the thing, the star destroyer, is present. So. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, pre-game lag. All right. System Systems are checked. Standing by. Well, I don't need actually to give you Let's any roles. I just need you to. Where I, the right. I just, moving. I just need you to be. Let us get yeah. Missiles prepped and ready. Let's get it moving. Squadron moving out. Move out. Just a wave of these ships can win you any battle, to be fair. Even if you will have like Dreadnought upon you, you'll just send 10 of these and just annihilate them from the entire space. Now then, first objective will be over here. We need to destroy the space station over here. This thing, destroy it. While you, my dudes, concentrate your firepower on nothing. Don't come any closer, please. Just stay where you are. Now then I need to annihilate the Star Destroyer. But I believe we are gonna take some casualties over here. Bang bang bang. Anyway, uh, the FPS are kind of a dropping. Squadron leader. Shut down this Imperial Star Destroyer and then we'll move all around. Okay. Damn, it's actually quite laggy. Yeah. 
laggy like hell. Anyway, this enemy is just toast. Won't be doing anything. And you know, I just auto attack the enemy. While we, the great people, will focus on destroying this enemy space station. Huh. To be fair, I can just just take my ships and retreat. Destroy the uh, concussion missiles, please. They are kind of damaging my ships, even though I get shields. So take them out, please. And now take out the secondary. You can't track incoming missiles oh you can i maybe try to shoot them if you was like a genius or something the destroyer is almost dead i wonder where did the um titan class ship go because if i jump to one of the sectors and there will be like three titans in ready for me then i'll be just disappointed Because that's a cheap hard way to win. <laughs> but I guess having like 10 of these that, that shoot missiles and proton torpedoes isn't really that cheap. Nice. Well, the enemy is going down. While my boys are ready still. Go take him out. Take out the space station. That's actually our final objective. Yeah, destroy all enemy space fortress uh, forces to win. Even though the uh, garrison units are not counted as a, as a space force, I guess. If you destroy the station, it's actually over for them. Nice. But really, do they? Sh yeah, there's secondary uh, rotating ring that shoots the ion ordinance on the enemy. All the one, the upper one shoots the normal bolts. Like I thought, it was what it was. And now we will just watch. How they destroy the entire space station. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't think a smoke should be in space. Even though gases are in space, so I guess could be well. Yeah, victory! <sighs> Damn! I'm just chain recording right now. Oh, one of my BTLs got shredded. So, let me get one of the one of the guys back operational. Okay, Corban on level three. I got this thing. Being done, Felucia, Ring of Wind, Clone War Warships, yes. Just grab it, send it to Felucia, and Felucia will build a level 5 space station, go down. Okay, wing gunboat. There. Felucia. They're going down. And I see the. Um, what are they called? Let me see. Uh, I need the. God damn it, show me OBS. 
still light even though it's kind of getting dark. Oh well. Pre game lag, where is it? Nowhere. Wait, the enemy doesn't have a space station? Oh. <laughs> then I'll just wait on them over here while they approach. And once they approach, I'll just send all my star papers out to annoy them. And just the howitzers will just annihilate them. Hello. Fighters, frigates, magnificent or whatever. Should be arriving any moment. But they are. Ah. I want to say that they are nowhere to be seen. Attack. Oh, they got all the vulture roids. How sad. Do they have any other forces or just the munificent class ship? Dual. Yeah, them frigates just dead. Told ya. Oh boy. And Pulsha is ours. Now I'm going to Renvar. Beginning construction. We're on our way. We are on our way. Why do they have only space stations here? Shouldn't they have like some defense fleet over here as well? It's kind of a underestimating my power now that I have big ships. This is not just rebellion, this is open out conflict. I would say. Okay. Go. Their mission is simple. Arrive and destroy. Yes. Yes. Upgrade, improve. I think the shields that give me like 15% on every rebel ship should be finished. After all it costs 70,000 cash money. <laughs> Enemy spotted. He's gonna get annihilated. Destination confirmed. Just Awaiting instructions. Go, my dude. Yes, come on. As well as you, go. We're on our way. Reporting. Open fire. Ready. Just all the weapons are blasting away on on the enemy. Just annihilating them. Also, should start making thumbnails because normally I'm doing thumbnails while. while filling out the video's description and stuff and it's kinda distracting and the station is just screwed at this point Bang, bang. Explosions everywhere. And a giant ass mosquito is trying to get in through the window. It's 
Screw you, mosquito. We can't get in here. Even though those giant mosquitoes don't drink blood, they're still annoying when they are. When you are trying to sleep and they just start hitting your face. This is just the most annoying thing they can do. Batteries online. Weapons ready. Fire. Now then your entire firepower should be done on the station. Just saying. Control your inner range. As well as you should target this thing. And I mean like now. Open fire. Please, dude. Attack that target. I guess nothing. Anyway. Uh, It took you a while enough for this to be take down. Really my face is almost dark, so I'm just gonna enable this. Yeah. The light of our technology. Ready for battle. Yes sir. Yes sir. Attack that target. Reporting in. Ready for duty. Fire at will. Now then. Just a couple of more hard points and we are done. I would just push the auto resolve button, but I know that the game can be kinda dick and just told you like you lost and this giant ass ship just to three points of battle station. Nice. So another sector is ours and now only a ring of Inda will be ours and we'll be done. And I'll just send in the entire number of bad boys that I have over here. Oh, they are just so approaching. Construction complete. Construction complete. Then I'm gonna get like five Venators and just move around with the uh, Republic fleet. I'm just going around. And that freaking mosquito is still trying to get in. It's freaking distracting. Now oh, then, come on, I want to see what, what kind of ships I can get on Solus, even though I know what kind of ships I can get. Yeah. Nice. Now then, this... This... I'll just send these bad boys to Solus. More executors plus larger dots. They are constructing again. Why do you need so much freaking ships? Hmm. See? Again, just station. Why is there just a station? Oh well. Anyway, I'll finish the battle as quick as possible. And then that will be end of the video. Yeah, Ring of Inda. Or Vista or whatever. Hehehe, <laughs> just army of the ships. Just getting into the formation. Yeah, go. And we got the pre-game flag. And go. <laughs> That's moving quickly, okay. Ah, here. Get your eyes over here. I want, I want you to seize this so I can see. Yeah, they got Star Destroyer, that, that, everything over here. Right. Now just go because, yeah, they are starting to construct every single freaking 
thing they got. Friendship here. Just destroy this and just concentrate on the enemy ships or something. The enemy has nothing against us. We are better than them. At least in the firepower. I don't know how about the fighter on fighter situation or bombers on fighter, but we can take them out like this, maybe. Not, because my ships are already dying. <coughs> Should have grabbed the E7s or whatever they called. Yeah, you're tough but not invincible. Oh then give me something. They're just not giving me a freaking thumbnail worthy pictures. Missiles everywhere and torpedoes. Oh well. Hey, wait. Only four squads remain, really. Yeah, well, it seems like they are tough, but they still can get be they still can be wiped out. So, I'll just wait on this system to finish. It's level 5. Sh or, you know, what? Nah. Thank you for watching, my dudes and dudettes. As always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like my content, consider subscribing. And, well. I'll tell you that the, the, to comment down below which character from the Star Wars universe is your best. Your best favorite. So, other than that, bye. <coughs>